Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is your host Sam and this is the Africa Football Connect. And today we continue with the transfer rumors and all the transfers that have been complete. So without wasting any time, I would like you guys to click the subscribe button, click the like button and comment on this video. That helps the, the, the channel a lot. It helps the channel grow and it makes it easy for us to keep doing the information that we provide for you. So please do that right now before we go in far. But today we are covering, like you see on the title, there are other news that are com coming from the Real Madrid also that there's some dude situation between Gareth Bell and the Real Madrid and if the Tottenham deal is still happening we'll get to find out that in this one and also the Thiago deal be between Liverpool and Bayern Munich there's also new latest information that has been released from that and also we get to find out again more about Ia Nacho the Leicester def uh, attacking striker and he's linked from away from Leicester and the, the clubs that are interested in him and the other deals that want to be done by other Premier League clubs like Crystal Palace and Newcastle who they're interested in the Burnley midfielder so all of these things and more will be covered in this uh, in this video so before we go any far I would like us to talk about the uh, other news that are coming from the city of Spain in Barcelona it seems like Barcelona have confirmed a new case one case of coronavirus in one of their players which also happened i think two days back villarreal confirmed two confirmed case of coronavirus from two of their players and also five days back atletico madrid confirmed two cases of coronavirus from their players so which gets me to wonder now i'm wondering if pre if la liga will be able to come back next season like at the time where they've set it to come back because it seems like there are a lot of confirmed cases of corona coming out from the spanish side it gives us a little bit we become worried as the friends as the football friends so tell me what you think do you think la liga will be back at the time where they wanted to come back or it will be disturbed because of this corona pandemic and what is happening in spain as we speak and also I'm here to confirm that the Scottish League have banned their league that had restarted in the 2020-2021 season was going on because there's one of the players who broke the regulations that were set by the by the country for the football club for the football players not to be traveling all over so it seems like the player traveled to Spain and come again the players from the Celtic club and it seems like they've decided to ban everything so it seems like the whole club are now the whole teams are now suffering because of one player who, who broke the rules that were set by the government so this just goes to an advice saying uh, from my perspective i'm advising that players you shouldn't be breaking some of the laws that have been set by your country if you want the football to continue if you want your careers and you continue to do what you are paid for because if you don't do that then it will burn into the whole restart and every foundation that were being set so that there could be football again in the world will all go to an end because of how you failed to to cooperate and how you felt to actually follow the rules and the, the regulations that were set and that's what has been happening around the world of news guys so before we go in where now we can start with the transfer but before i go through the transfers that i have here there was news that came from sky sports where they were saying that tiago he actually said it himself the player that he would really love he would really really love to play for liverpool which reminds me of the Ox Chamberlain days, the times where Ox Chamberlain was interested in going to play for Liverpool and the people were saying that it never happened, but the player gave his full verdict that he wanted to go play for Liverpool. So if Thiago keep doing the same thing, keep going after what he wants, which is his dream move to Enfield, I think that can force also the Liverpool people and the scouting team to actually decide on the move and actually get his dream move to go play for Liverpool. So what can we do we'll just we'll keep waiting and we'll see whatever that happens but as we stand these are the situations at hand so without wasting any time now we can start with the video so they are saying that 16 hours ago they're saying that leicester city wolves ac milan and juventus are interested in signing Duarte Nell 
Dwight McNeil from Burnley this summer. So Dwight McNeil is a, is a he plays for Burnley and it seems like he has found interest in Wolves in Leicester City, AC Milan and Juventus. So it seems like you have found interest. I'm not really sure what which position he plays. So if any of the of the Burnley fans you know please let me know in the comments down below tell me which position the player plays but if I were me if I were the player I wouldn't go to Juventus no matter what you know the reason why I wouldn't go if you don't know watch my last video that I did when I was talking about the transfers I wouldn't go to Juventus I might even try Leicester Wolves and even AC Milan those are the teams that I might even go but let me get to find out. Let me hear your comments on this situation, you guys. What you are thinking? Adriana Junior is Adrian Junior is saying this. This young lad can also play as a cam center, and is good. Is is such good underrated player. He's good as a cam, so he, it seems like he's a center midfield. So he he plays in the midfield role. And some players, some of your comments are saying that he can play very well as a center, the the one who controls the midfielder, and like he becomes the center, of the camp. And we we'll wait to see which team goes after him. So Leicester Wolves and this one, I'll probably pick either one of the. If he is really looking for challenges to enjoy the league, he might stay in the Premier League. Either choose Leicester Wolves, but if he wants to go play and try to help another club that has been on the low, he might go play for AC Milan. And seven hours ago, they're saying that AC Milan have made a bid to sign Teamore Bakayoko on an internal loan from Chelsea for three million with an option to buy for 35 million pounds. The player is keen on the move, so Bakayoko has realized that he, there is actually no game time for him at Chelsea so he was on loan at AC Milan last season so this season it seems like AC Milan they want to keep him as well they want him back their club so that he continues on loan at the same time with an option to buy so that he becomes a regular at AC Milan but we will have to wait and see how things goes but at the, as we speak at the moment as things stand it seems like the player is really keen on the movie wants to remain at AC Milan because there's actually game time for him so this is really good so let me hear what the chelsea supporters are thinking in the situation so tony Werner is saying that chelsea should accept this offer because bakayoko is is so inappropriate to play on premier league so so yeah you know this is how football is like it's a gamble like what i was talking today with my father even though i didn't see record the thing he was talking about how this thing is a gamble the football that you might see that a good player on another league he cannot be able to fit in other leagues because of such a way they play the, the players or the teams play so we know that premier league is a fast pace is a fast pace type of football and it seems like for him it doesn't go well and doesn't fit very well to be playing in the PSE so if he wants to go and the AC Milan are interested and Chelsea are not really using him I believe there's no reason for them to not accept the offer so I hope it happens as it has been said Lukama soon is saying this the next good Michael Balak of Chelsea Lampard should keep the guy oh this guy has his own thing but it seems like there are a lot of people who are hitting his comments some are even laughing at him they should I think maybe it's not even a Chelsea fan he's just making fun of some Chelsea fans but Good luck to you, Bakayoko, and I hope you get your dream move to AC Milan and you get proper game time and to be seated down. Arsenal are considering a move for Ajax. Are considering a 25 million move for Ajax attacker Quincy Promise. The 28-year-old is eager to join the Gunners with Michael Ateta, eager to make him one of his first signings this summer. So as we stand right now, Arsenal have not yet made any signings. And it seems like the person that 
Ateja is interested in by Quincy Promise. Quincy Promise is a Netherlands striker. I've seen him one in some of the games when Netherlands were playing again in the Euro and even in the UEFA UEFA of the team national team that has been happening and is really a good player. And if he wants to join the Ghana he might join. And uh, good luck to him. I have no problem with the deal. But the problem that I have with Arsenal is this. They are fixing the front side, but the problem is not in the front side. The problem is at the back. So I don't know what will happen. Let me hear what the Arsenal fans are thinking. Let me hear your comments. So Ricky Mourinho is saying that Chungam FC, they can't even sign him, assuming he is a free agent now. They would, they would have rushed and take him anyway. He is a good striker and he will and he will fit very well in their squad. So he's saying this but he thinks that Arsenal they are like they have no money. That's why he's calling them Chungam FC. I think it's meant to be a, com a joke or something like that. But he, we know that in terms of money and stuff like that things have not been going well for the Gunners. So we will have to see what happens but this guy is a good striker and he will very well fit 100% well in the Arsenal side so we have to wait and see how the things go and we have to watch the spaces and if things happen and Robin M. Oliver is saying this, Quincy could be a very good replacement of Lacazette he is a great striker which I 100% agree with you there that he would be a very good replacement for Lacazette because we had that Lacazette is thinking of going to Atletico Madrid. So we actually agree, I might actually agree with you, he would be a very, very, very good fit for this guy. So we will have to wait and see what happens. But as, at the moment, I feel like the problem for us now is not in the front, but it's actually a little bit in the mid midfield during row and actually at the back. So we will wait and see what happens. But if they don't fix the back, I don't see us now competing for the Premier League, even for the top four. They need to fix behind first. That was seven hours ago, though. So, Fene Basque are keen on signing Kileche in Akacho on a two year loan deal from Leicester. The Turkish club wants the 23 year old. To replace Van Murik and are set to offer the Foxy 12 million to secure his service. So they want him on a loan move and they are willing to pay 12 million euro to secure his service in their club. Because it seems like maybe they need to replace another player who's called v Vehat Merik. I think that, that is the name. So yes, Ikanacho is a good is a good striker and he's a good ball poacher but that's one thing I like about this player he's a good goal poacher he can score goals when he, there's no any hope he just he's just that good in terms of poaching for goals so I don't know how much Leicester need him because he, he, game time in terms of game time he hasn't been getting enough so that will be very good for him because he'll be getting proper good game time but I don't know if the Fox are really thinking of letting him go that has to be something that we have to wait and see what happens so let me hear your comments on what you think on the offer. John Jones is saying this. Honestly, never seen that much of a difference between Jesus and the Ia Kacho. Only plays for only plays for Manchester City because he is a Brazilian. Not must be nice. Let me see. Honestly, I have never seen the difference between Jesus and yeah natural only plays for man city because he is a brazilian must have been nice so if i get we get you well john 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 jones what you're actually trying to say is this you feel like there is really no difference between Ian Nacho and Jesus. And the reason why Jesus is still at Manchester City is because he's a Brazilian player. And Ian Nacho is an African. That's why he was let go by Guardiola. Which brings back to that racism thing that Guardiola had to go through under the times of Yaya Tori. And also, who else? Some uh, to mention something that he doesn't, he's not really keen on the African players. So that could be the problem so we have to see what is what happens from this but we'll wait and see this guy olam olame kie is saying yes atlanta are going to win this year's champions league mark my words 
how is this going to help with the with the transfers? I don't, I don't know. But he is giving his own verdict for the Champions League. Yes, I'll do my I'll do a video of that. O'clock PM. As we'll be leading on to the Champions League, I'll do my video on that so that we'll see who, which teams are winning today between PSG and the Atlanta. But if yeah, yeah, Nacho goes to Fenerbahce. I hope the best for him, and I hope he will enjoy the time he will spend on that side. So let's just wait and see and watch these pieces. Ryan Fraser is unlikely to join Arsenal and Tottenham, with both London clubs looking at other targets. The former Bournemouth winger is now more likely to join as a promet is more likely to join the promoted side with Leeds, West Brom and the war Fulham in all interested in the striker. We're also interested in striking a deal. Oh sorry. So it seems like that the big giants that were after the Bournemouth winger they are no longer interested in Fraser. So it means the only clubs that are left who are interested in him are all the promoted side so okay that's what is happening so we'll just have to say good luck to the player and i hope the best team wins between the promoted side but he's a good player though Fraser is a really good player and we hope to see what happens so on some of the stories that are the making the main story of the day liverpool are happy with their current midfielder midfield options and wouldn't look to sign Bayern Munich Thiago this summer. That was Sky Sports reporting. Okay, which I don't really like as a Liverpool fan. I'm not taking that. But let me hear what other people are saying in the comments from this comment. What they're saying is this. Mike Muller is saying this. Thank you Liverpool for clearing that up. Now the senseless fans can keep qui can keep quiet and think like people who know the sport <laughs> so it seems like this guy has been bothered by a lot of fans i think maybe they might be liverpool fans talking about how the player is coming to them which these guys they don't believe it will happen so let's wait and see what happens and tiago and he Sami Tunga is saying that Thiago is a better is better than all the Liverpool midfielders. Liverpool are too stingy and that's why they lose out on Werner and I don't think they can and I don't think they can even defend the Premier League next season. The stingy part uh, yeah, Liverpool they don't they don't like to spend money which I don't even know. And at the same time, defending the Premier League, there I might have to disagree. I feel like they still have the enough firepower to defend the Premier League. And also, signing Thiago, I don't know, but Thiago is, yes, I agree, he's one of the best midfielders out there. I can't say he's better than all the Liverpool midfielders, because if he was better than all the midfielders of Liverpool, he would have been in a club that is doing well, but he's in a good club as well. So I don't know what to say on this situation, but I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. So we have to wait and see on that. Let's see. And let's go to another one. Oh, so one of the main story we have today, Gareth Bale is refusing to leave Real Madrid this summer and is prepared to wait up to two, to wait up to two years of his club match if necessary that's daily mirror so it seems like gareth bale is refusing to leave real madrid cause either him playing or not playing he's making more money than any of these guys can do without even doing anything he's making a lot of money while he's doing nothing that's the reason why he's saying he's not leaving this side anytime soon he really wants to make his money because Real Madrid mistreats the player and the player feels like he, he he's going to make a lot of money out of them even though he's no game time at the club. So the club are eager to get rid of him but him is going no way. 
if they terminated the contract that they have to pay him a lot of money so we're gonna have to wait while who's going to win in this situation if i remember very well in terms of the de de decision and the deals between cristiano ronaldo and the club and the president of real madrid it didn't end well because they said that the president of real madrid is one stubborn man so i don't know who's gonna who's more stubborn here him or Gareth Bale this situation so we have to wait and see how this thing will end but as we stand in the moment what we are hearing is true the guy is refusing to leave Real Madrid and we will wait and see how the things go but we will keep you updated and we will tell you what will be happening let me read some of your comments and what you are thinking from this situation so now God super Re rain now God I don't know some of the names that people call themselves on Facebook he's saying I love how Bale is he handling the situation Gareth is a good player but me madrid and zidane really want really want to end his career i support him playing i support him paying them back with their coin oh so he's saying that Gareth bell is a good player and but madrid and zidane wanna end his career i support him paying them back with their coin <laughs> yeah i think he's telling them or he's just in other words he's just trying to say that he's half is really behind the player and whatever he's doing because he feels like real madrid have mistreated this guy and they've been mistreating some of the other people there's a problem with these big clubs and i think he's just trying to tell you that he for real madrid and for Gareth Bale not moving away it's just a form of showing that he's willing to fight for what he, he thinks belongs to him and these guys they need to actually give them give something to him because they have made him suffer a lot when he wanted to go a club they did make sure that he doesn't go just to destroy his career so let's wait and see how this thing will end and the eye lower and he's saying this i so much love this dude even big teams deserve someone like this guy I love what he is doing to Real Madrid for what they did to him. Period. Stand there. We are behind you, Gareth Bell, even though we have nothing to do, but we are behind you. Stand for what you believe in and just go push and see what happens. We will just wait and see what will be happening. Then they are saying, Dan Dio, Villarreal have signed former Arsenal midfielder Francia Concesca Conceline from Valencia. From Valencia, so Villarreal have signed a player from Valencia for with for eight plus three million dollar three million euro bonuses for four year contract. So good luck to the player. And it seems like there are no people who even commented on the thing. They just gave their love and just like in commenting on what is happening. So the other brave news that is hitting the transfer rumors is this. Aaron Ramsey's representatives have slammed the reports that Juventus wants to sell him as nonsense. They don't believe the players going anywhere and that everything that the Juventus people are saying is just nonsense. But uh, news from Sky Sports, they are saying that uh, rumored uh, Juventus are open to any club interested in this guy and they are willing to sell him as well as much as they can. So that's how the news is standing and we have to wait and see what happens. Real Madrid are keen to keep the midfielder Dani Cab Caballos as the club at the club after the year returned from the season long loan spell sorry guys there was some disturbance here so let me read again that thing real madrid are keen on keeping the midfielder dani caballos at the club after he returned from his season long loan spell at arsenal the 24 year old is impressed he has impressed for ghana since he returned since the return of football from lockdown so it seems like uh, real madrid they don't want to let their player go they want to keep him because he is proven that he's really good and he did that when he was in arsenal so danny michael is saying this real madrid are more than enough in the midfield he is a great player who needs more playing time even even other guys is back 
Yeah, yeah. This, these big clubs, they just find themselves in a situation now as stingy and destroying other people's careers and stuff because they feel like they own everyone's jersey, which is just so wrong. But if, in this situation, if they're a player, we just have to accept it and move on. Noble Usang Lucky is saying, I can say this. I can say this authoritatively, not because I am an Arsenal fan, but because I know how the transfer market works. Real Madrid are trying to cut down their wage bills and such, and as such as they need to sell players and loan out fr fringe lo uh, players, players like Dan Caballos and David and Brem Dave at ETC. Are not in the are not in the dance plan for next season, so he is going to be loan. Is going to loan them out while Martin Ogadiz is going to to the team to complete for a place in the to compete for the place in the midfield. I don't know who this other other case is. I have to look for a look at him because it seems like. These people are really giving a lot of praise over him. I think he's a good midfield as well. But the players like Danny and this one, Noble believes that they're going to be loaned back again to different clubs by Real Madrid because they need to cut the prices and the money that they're using in a season. And two hours ago, another story back again, which involves Thiago. And they're saying that Bayern Munich chief exclusive Kia Heavens Hezen, I think Rahim has has said he is willing to work with clubs who make a fair offer for Thiago and who will be who and who has been linked with Liverpool FC. That's the Daily Mail. So it seems like the uh, the management of Bayern Munich that's saying that if a club offers a nice and a uh, offer that actually makes sense, they are willing to do the deal and let the player go. That's all that they're believing in, the ways we speak. So we have to wait and see how things goes. But that's how things are standing at the moment. But we'll try to keep you updated on whatever news that will be changing in the situation. Inter Milan are on the verge of completing a signing of Bresca midfielder Senandro Tonia. The 20-year-old will sign a five-year deal with 3.5 million a season with Juventus a similar and PSG are set to miss out on extend on exciting or, or set to miss out on an exciting youngster oh this is the player that I saw yesterday saying that the Juventus were no longer interested in signing who? who was Juventus after? Oh, they were no longer interested in signing Georgino, but they want him. So it seems like the guys who are going to win him is Inter Milan. They're the ones who are going to complete the deal. And again, they're just they're repeating the done deal for Danny Pidgeot, who's from Valencia, going to Villarreal. That it is done and it's been confirmed. And it's actually a player holding the jersey, moving to the new club of Valencia. So good luck to him and we'll see what will happen after this. But uh, all in all, guys, these are the transfers we had. Not really a lot of them though, but the information we got was what we got. And we will have to wait. But the only thing that we just have to talk about here, that is the main story, is that we are behind the guard the bell and we support whatever nonsense is <laughs> i can't call it nonsense whatever he's doing because it's really showing that he's willing to stand up for those people who are going to do him wrong but before we go any far there's this news that is coming from the city uh, that is coming from West Ham united and they're saying they have opened talks with with antonio over a new contract with his current deal running out to 2021 the hammers are willing to make the 30 year old one of the club's most highest earners because antonio is one of the best strikers we have in the premier league and the best in the club because he has proven it in many times so if they want to keep them him and i believe it, they will keep him yeah he deserves a new contract contact and yeah, i think he deserves a lot of money like what they're saying they're going to make him one of the club's most high so we'll wait and see how things go but that's the news we are hearing now 
So this has been Africa Football Connect. Oh, before I go, what do you think of what Gareth Bale is doing? Do you agree with whatever I'm saying? Leave your comments below and I'll do a video going through all your comments and talking about whatever you think should be done and maybe I'll give you my feedback on what I see the things. Like for example, there was a guy who gave it to, there was a person who gave a comment about Real Madrid, about Gareth Bell going to Tottenham and he just said that those are just rumors and I really appreciate your comments guys. Please keep, keep putting more comments so that we can communicate and we see what we do next. So please don't forget to like and subscribe this video and we'll meet again on another video. This has been Sam, your host on Africa Football Connect. We'll be back again as we continue with our football so the next video that is coming is coming today maybe later today where i'll be giving my prediction between atlanta and psg after i do my runnings and see what you guys are saying and i'll go through and look at what some of your comments will be like in the game and i'll be using the the application one football or football you can check it out there it's also on the play store it can actually help you a lot guys so thank you very much for watching the video i hope to meet you on another video so this same been talking and we meet you can check other videos on the one that i was doing about naibi Keita and takumi minamino when i was talking about being the surprise package of liverpool next season and also you can check out this other transfer news that we're doing on the other side so we'll be back again very soon today and i hope you enjoy it there bye